Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Junior League World Series. We had the rad dog, the mechanical dog, deliver the baseball for the opening pitch between Michigan and Florida. This U.S. final game here at Heritage Park in Taylor, Michigan. The winner of this one advances on to the Junior League World Series championship game tomorrow afternoon. We'll get and Boyke hits one sharply towards short, caught on a fly by the shortstop, Gavin McCaffrey. Very windy here at Heritage Park in Taylor, Michigan. And that'll be a one-out walk issued to Koski. Things off on Sunday, and they never look back. That's up and in, ball four, first and second with nobody out here in the first inning. And the 2-2 curveball, a called strike three. That puts two outs on the board here. Well, Chance had given up just one walk in the first four innings that he pitched here at the Junior League World Series, and he's walked three here in the top of the first. Like Chance might have been trying to overthrow a little bit there. And this one hit down the third baseline, and it gets into left field. Koski will score. Here comes Tristan Spencer. He scores. It is two to nothing, Michigan. Four days for Florida. There's a line shot to center. Nathan Trotten going back on it, and he makes the catch for the final out of the inning. Michigan does get on the board first for Florida. This is the leadoff man. Third baseman lines one. Fair ball down the right side. And that'll hold to a single for Josh Troutman. He had to tie that left shoe there. This one gets to the backstop, and Shoe felt looking around for it. Up to second base goes Josh Troutman. Oh, that's up there. And ball four. So after allowing two runs to score in the top of the first, Cole Shear with the 2 1 now hits sharply towards third. Stopped by Miller. He'll take it to third. And they get the force. Nice stop and play by the third baseman there. And the 2-2 from Boyke, a nice curveball lifted over the head of Miller and into left. They're going to wave around good. Here's the throw home. It's a good one. It's cut off. Now the throw down to second base is in time to get Grayson Brandt for the second out of the inning. But one run does come in to score. It'll be an RBI base hit. Tying run and Cole Shearer is at third. This one popped up over towards first. Carmino Koski in foul ground makes the grab. And that'll do it for the first inning. So Florida gets a run back. but Here's a line drive out to center field. Second hit of the week for Chase Omedio. And Michigan's got the leadoff man aboard. High ball four, and that'll move Omadillo up to second. And another meeting on the mound. We may have a pitching change here. We will, so. And this one's poked out towards right field. That'll drop in front of Chase Twist. Everybody advances a base, and Michigan has them loaded once again. Richard said that his highlight from this past season was throwing a combined no-hitter 
with his teammate Lucas Brewer, and this time it's lifted out to center field. This is going to get into the gap. Omidio comes in to score. Cruz Rodriguez to follow. Lucas Brewer held up at third. A two-run RBI double for Richard LaRue, and it is four to one. Alex Miller, and he crushes one out to center, going back on it and making the catch is good. Tagging up from third, trying to score as Brewer he does. So a sack fly RBI for Alex Miller. 3-0 to the leadoff man is high ball four. Here's a line drive out to left. That's going to get all the way to the wall. Richard LaRue coming in to score. Cole Boyke being waved around, and he will score. Two-run RBI double for Carmino Koski, and it's 7-1. And that's going to be down ball four. Here, trying to pick up the second out here. And hit on the ground over towards short. McCaffrey goes to second with it. Jackie Frazier holds on to it there. And it will be the second out of the inning. Down to third goes Carmine. And the runner taken off down to second. He is safe for the stolen base. Schufelt in scoring position. Cole Shear with two outs here. And that's low and inside. Ball four bases are going to be loaded again. And Griffin, line shot, center field. It's caught. Shoestring grab by Good. And that gets Florida out of the inning, but five runs come across for Michigan. And they now lead it 7-1 to as we go to the bottom of the second. Two one fastball snagged on the mound by Boyke, and he throws to first. One away. Oh, going all the way back to the majors in Little League, and here's a shot out to left center, giving Chase Hollabaugh, and it drops into left center. It will be a one out base hit for Nathan Trotten to the middle of this lineup, and this one gets away from the catcher Schufelt. Down to second base goes Trotten on the wild pitch. Now, if you're Cole Boyke here, your team has given you a six-run lead. Want to try and throw strikes. Give your defense a chance at making plays like this one here. Cruz Rodriguez, the second baseman. Oh, it comes out of his mitt. Nathan Trotten goes down to third on the miscue, and up to second goes Caraway. players on this team, but don't let that fool you. A ton of heart from the second baseman for this Keystone Little League team. And this one gets away from the catcher, goes to the backstop. Coming in and scoring is Trotten. Second run of the game for Florida. Error in the field didn't help. And Jackie hits one the other way, charging in Rodriguez. It'll produce a run. And it's seven to three. So Jackie does his job, picks up an RBI. On Monday and Wednesday. And that'll be a three pitch strikeout there for the final out of the second inning. Two runs come across for Florida and they get a couple back. Still final game between Michigan and Florida. It's seven to three right now. Michigan coming back up to the plate. First pitch swinging, gets through the right side. Off the bat of Brody Hollibaugh for the sixth hit of the game for Michigan. 
And the offense just keeps on going. And I think that hit him. Yep, sure did. So hit by pitch allows Hollabaugh to go to second. Hit by pitch is a hit by pitch. And first pitch swing for Cruz Rodriguez popped up. And the pitcher, Cole Shearer, comes over to make the catch for out number one. The rhythm. And a curveball bounces off the catcher's mask from Brent. And down to third base is going to go Hollibaugh. To Lucas Brewer. And Shear delivers. It's slow and in, but a swing and a miss. And a strikeout to Brewer. Puts two outs on the board. On the ground to the right side. And it gets through into right. That'll bring in a run. And make it eight. That one goes all the way to the backstop. Two runners going to advance a base. And the 3 0 misses low. <laughs> 1 0 from Cole Shear. Hit in the air, out to center field, going all the way back on it is good. Now coming in, he makes the grab in front of the warning track. So the base is loaded, left stranded once again. Nice Boyke is now at 46 pitches through two innings. And that's a called strike three. All right, so. Line shot. Out of the glove of Miller at third. Able to gather and throw, though. Nice recovery there for Alex Miller. 72 to 5. That was the combined score that they ran through District 5 with. Fly out to right. Spencer's there in a 1 2 3 inning for Cole Boyke and Michigan as they will come back to the plate. In the Swing and a miss, a changeup, got him out in front. And a handed bat, there are seven left-handed batters on this Michigan team, and Spencer out to right field. This is gonna get all the way down into the alley, and it kicks back into center field. Spencer coasts into second with a one-out double. His first hit of the night after two walks. Out here in the top of the fourth. And the 2-2, slow changeup is popped up. Out to shallow right, Jackie Frazier, the second baseman, is there. And there are two outs. And a line shot out to right. Spencer being held up late at third. It was a good throw in from Chase Twist and a smart play. Griffin Krakow is one for two. With a two-run RBI single, and he lines one out to center field. There's Chance Good. And anything in the air out to center field with Good there, it's going to get caught. So Cole, his team has won three straight to get to the U.S. final game. And Boyke just outside, three and two. Oh, they say he went around. All right, so Chance Good called out. Say he broke his wrist there. Now retired five in a row. This one on the ground over towards second, fielded by Rodriguez. Two up, two down here in the fourth. Boyke working quick. Swing and a miss, and Cole Boyke is in a groove now. Back to back, one, two, three innings. Full count to Brody Hollibaugh. And line shot into left. 
double digit hit performance for Michigan. And a line drive out to left as Caraway was falling over after he threw it. He slipped on the mound and Omadio didn't seem to mind. He's got his second hit tonight. Cruz squares again. This one is up the first base side. Tag applied by Melmut. And that tails outside for ball four. Base is loaded again for Michigan here with. Back up the middle, and it gets through into center field. Hollow ball scores. Omadillo holding it third. How about a four RBI night for Rich LaRue? Miller, 12th batter in this lineup. Cole Boyke, the leadoff man, awaits on deck. And a swing and a miss. Strikeout for Noah Carraway. Boyke chased one up in the zone. Foul ground, and the catch is made by Noah Carraway. So, able to strand the bases loaded for the third time tonight. Get out, although he did pop out to first in his first at bat. Here's a line shot out to center, and Hollaball ranges back to record the out. This is 0 for 1 tonight. Favorite team, the Florida Gators. Off the end of the bat, squibber towards second base, charging Cruz, tough play. Cruz Rodriguez, nice defensive work there at second. Jam shot, caught, Boyke. Well, he only needed seven pitches to work through this half inning, and Cole Boyke. Carmino goes down swinging. Four pitch strikeout for Eli Rogovin, drawing the last couple of games. Three for four night against Texas on Thursday. And he takes another walk here, third walk of the day for Tristan Spencer. With his death. Got a full count here, runner on first, and a line drive out to left. Caraway ranges over and records the out. And Doty hits one sharply towards second. Jackie Frazier is there. And a nice play by the second baseman. So Eli Rogovin able to work around the walk. Now what Caraway, the new pitcher for Florida that just came on, is coming up to the plate and he singles up the middle. So the first hit and the first base runner of the game since the second inning. And a jam shot out to right for a base hit. Jackie Frazier gives Florida back-to-back -back hits here to start off the bottom of the sixth. And Uriarte swinging away first pitch. The bounding ball to the right side handled by Cruz Rodriguez. He has been solid over there. Right after he committed that error back in the second inning, Cruz has really locked in. Second, Chase twists the batter. And he's swinging away first pitch, line shot, right field, drops in front of Spencer. Runner coming home, here's the throw, little bit late. And it comes out of the glove of the catcher, Schufelt. Jackie Frazier holding up at third. So it's nine to four on the RBI. Is at the plate. And he lines one out to left field. That'll drop for a base hit. Jackie Frazier coming in to score. It's nine to five now in a four run game. Four hits in the inning for Florida, all coming at the bottom of the order. Or two in this inning, still just one out. Runners on the corners. And first pitch swinging out to center field. Cole Boyke misread it. It goes over his head. Now coming in to score a run. 
is going to be Chase Twist. They get the out at second. Tagging there was Eli Rogovin. So a little bit of an awkward play. Michigan gets the second. Six walks here at the Junior League World Series. And he's got a seventh. This one skied high out to shallow center. Cole Boyke under this one. And he's able to record the final out. So three runs come across for Florida. This one poked back to the mound. Rogovin down to get it. And he throws over to first. So a good start for Florida defensively here in the seventh. Two one line shot caught by McCaffrey at short. And Omadillo takes a walk. First is Omadillo, and a swing and a miss. Cruz Rodriguez chases a high fastball. And now Florida coming up with their last chance. It'll be four, five, and six, Lee Melmut. One, one, slow roller towards third, Alex Miller. Nice throw across, and there is one away. Line shot, and that's a fair ball. Melmet now trying to go for two. The throw comes in and sliding in safely for his fifth double of the week. And McCaffrey hits one on the ground towards short. Lucas Doty's throw to first is in time. And Florida down to their final out league and send them on their way to the Junior League World Series title game tomorrow. 2-0 line drive left field base hit and Melmet going to be held up at third now he will go. Grand scheme of things this run not the most important but it does put the seventh run on the board for Florida. A double for Trot in an RBI. This one back towards the mound, grabbed by Koski. Throws over to first, and that will do it. Michigan on their way to another Junior League World Series title game tomorrow against Chinese Taipei. Carmino Koski closes it out, and Michigan, for the second year in a row, are champions out of the U.S. side of the bracket. End of the road for Florida, but what a fight put up by this team from Keystone Little League. Four games in four days. They were down by six runs going to the final two innings, and they made it a two-run game and even got the tying run to the plate here in this championship game. We take a look at the updated bracket. It is set. We have a rematch.